Hi! Oh my god, Chaos okay, again. Uh, with another online tech profile. And this time uh, I am showing my uh, updated uh, Airbound Immortal uh, Zombie deck. It has been a while since I showed uh, this deck. It's uh, pretty nice, but it's still a little bit inconsistent. And yeah, it's kinda hard to actually summon your Airbound Immortal. Uh, and having, of course, Fiat spell on the field. And the biggest problem, of course, is uh, getting to your Fiat spell and protecting it, so... But otherwise, you get a Body Mortal out with a um, Mono Pound Crater, uh, you are pretty much going to win if you can protect your Fiat spell, so... So let's go over the stack. So first are the Air Body Mortals themselves. I cut down uh, the number of... Uh, Air Party models from uh, 6 to 4 because now I have found uh, ways uh, to search them. So, first is Air Party model Kapak Apo, uh, free doesn't attack uh, Air Party model. All have effects that you can only control uh, one of them, and if there is no face of field spell, they are immediately destroyed. Uh, they cannot be selected, selected as, as, as an attack, attack target, so they can't be attacked and they can all attack your opponent directly. And they all of course have different extra effects as well. So Kapok Apu basically has that uh, flame wingman effect that when, this, when you destroy a moss by battle uh, they take the damage of uh, that moss attack as damage. So yeah, definitely this one of the strongest ones. Then is uh, Airbody model Uru, another free does not attack uh, Airbody model. And this card uh, allows you to attribute one must take control of one of your opponent's monsters until the end phase. So basically like a brain control effect. Although you don't not going to use that, that effect that much. Then Epon Mortal Kayarua, uh, which is that uh, when this card is destroyed by a card effect except by a turn effect, it of course self-destructs uh, when there is no fiat spell, you destroy all cards in the field, so that can be a very powerful, powerful effect. Well, of course, your plant power is not going to destroy it when you have this card on a fill. And uh, it's also really good because it's a reptile type monster, so I can search it out with uh, King of King of Fair Nymphs. That's why I might even consider running two of this card, but I don't really want to take out any of my other uh, party models, so I think one for now is fine. And then the last A Party model is uh, A Party model uh, Asla Pisco, uh, which is when this card is removed from the field, except by its own effect, it destroys all face of most of your opponent controls and then inflict 800 damage for each one. So, definitely a pretty good card, although of course it has the weakest attack. So, then of course the zombie engine, because I think the zombie engine is, is the best engine to summon out your A Party model. Uh, because of one uh, card, double cost on, uh, because you can treat it as two tributes for a dark monster. So, first is of course Uni Zombie. This card uh, helps the deck quite a lot. Uh, of course, any zombie based deck, really, but yeah. Um, of course, uh, in the first uh, uh, Airborne Immortal zombie deck profile, I didn't uh, have this card in the deck because it was released in 6 of the 13. So of course this helps you make level 8 synchro plays and all that and get your Masukis to the graveyard or anything else you need. And of course free Masukis of course revive your zombies. Uh, two double cost on, uh, of course like I explained it can be treated as two rewards for a dark moss. You can revive it with your book of life and Masukis and then you tribute it for any of your A4D models. So um, only around two because of course you can change the graveyard with Uni Zombie. You can summon it with Pyramid Turtle and all that, so I don't think a free is needed. Then two pyramid to summon out your uh, most of the deck, of course it only triggers when it's destroyed by battle. So get out your double cost from, from the deck or uni zombie or anything like that. Then two coin zombie search out your uh, monsters like uni zombie and all that and combo as well with that card as well to make level 8, level eight synchros. And then get another uni zombie from the deck then two zombie master for rank four plays, um, and finally two carbage lord. You might see 
it has a very weird card to use. But the reason why I use this uh, is because of one card called uh, uh, 100 Eyes Dragon, which is mostly used in, in an Infinity deck. But uh, it has an effect, the last effect, that when this card is destroyed and sent to graveyard, you add one Ape on Immortal monster from a deck to your hand. The effect that is very rarely used. So, in order to use this card, I had to find uh, either a level 5 or a level 4 Fiend a type monster that I can special summon. Because, of course, it requires a Tark Tuner and one, and one or more non Tuner Fiend type monsters. So, uh, Carlos Lotus is a level 5 monster that is a Fiend type, and you can special summon this card by paying 2000 life points. It cannot be used uh, as an Axis material for an Axis except for, for the Axis of a Dark Monster. But of course you're going to use it as synchro material most of the time, so yeah, you basically pay 2,000 life points to summon it, and then no more summon Uni Zombie, and go into 100 Ice Dragon, and then when, when it's destroyed, you search for any of your Ape Art Immortals, so yeah, because yeah, gives you another way to search out your Ape Art Immortals pretty much. Then the spell cards, you're of course the Fiat spell I use this in this deck is Mode of Punk Crater. Because, of course, uh, level 10 monsters on the field can be targeted or destroyed by card effects, which basically makes your Ape Army models invincible, because they can cannot also be targeted for an attack, and they can just attack your opponent directly, so that's really insane. And, of course, when level 10 monsters are uh, destroyed once by battle, uh, the control of that monster takes some damage. Uh, so, yeah, of course, like I said, you have to protect it, of course, for your point, for your opponent model to stay on the field, which can be kind of difficult. One MST can just ruin you, as well as Custer and things like that. So, yeah, that kind of sucks. And also, of course, you need to get it to your hand. Um, of course, you have a terraforming to search it, which of course I run it, run it, at, run it at free. I might even consider running Planet uh, Pathfinder, but at the same time, I don't want to use my normal summon for that car. You already have. Uh, uh, two uh, main requirements, of course, the normal summon your cards. Then, of course, uh, two Porto Alte. Uh, for consistency reasons, of course, you need to get your combo piece to your hand. Then, two Book of Life to revive your zombies, of course, your double cost and all that. And then, one Regeki, the last spell. Now, the traps. Two Airbound Wave. Which basically allows you to negate any spell or trap card when you control a face up air party mortal monster. So, basically, use this to protect my fiat spell, and there is not really any other reason. Uh, it can be, of course, very inconsistent if you don't have air party mortal on the field, but I still think this card is pretty necessary to use in this deck. Then, Solar Warning, Bottom Step Hole, Compose Eviction, Twice, Two Mirror Force, and Two Face Chain. So, these are of course pretty much the staple traps that are used in most decks that are of course uh, that use traps. Then the X deck, first uh, Synchros, uh, two high and ice dragon, the pretty much of course like I explained to search at my for the mortals. Uh, of course bears of the Tiboric dragons, of course really good. A uh, hot red dragon archwind, uh, scrap dragon and black rose dragon. Now the Xyz monsters. Uh, Number 66, Master Key Beetle. Number 1 on Santa Ark. Dark Rebellion Exis Dragon. Carl Kogon, Until Lumos Knight. King of Ramp to search out my uh, Kayarua. Um, Custer, Skybox Musketeer. Eos on Exis Knight, Laurel Shane. Of course, it's really good, and uh, any uh, deck that use, uses the graveyard a lot. And finally, Carl Cowboy. So I might still need to make some change, changes in the index deck, but I'm not really that sure. So, uh, this was my updated uh, Airborne Immortal uh, Zombie deck. Mm. It's definitely a very fun deck, but of course not, re not even remotely competitive. I think Airborne Immortals uh, need a lot more support, which they probably are not getting anytime soon, because the economy is not really focusing around that dark type currently. Uh, so, I hope you enjoyed this uh, updated uh, online tech profile. Uh, for now, uh, goodbye and Omega Chaos out.